Cakes. We all love them, we all eat them, and I am a massive, massive fan of cakes. So today is one of my favorite episodes, and I'm gonna bake you two of my favorite cakes. It is the Empire Cake, fruity, crumbly, crusty on top, soft in the middle, and the fluffiest chocolate cake, which then I'm gonna coat with, with nice fresh chocolate on top, and it's going to be amazing, and I'm so excited because I love cake. So let's go ahead with this one. To begin with the Empire Cake, which is the first thing we're going to do, is to use the rubbing method. So we're gonna have flour in our dish first. We're gonna have butter, which we're gonna break up into smaller chunks. There we go. And then we are gonna rub these, rub these two ingredients together until we get sort of a bread crumb consistency because that is what we're looking for here. So it's sort of the same as we've done with the volcano cakes in the past. And we're gonna rub them all together. So this is the texture we want. These little bits here that look like breadcrumbs, everything's nice dry mixed together. So we'll get a little bit of a dent in the middle and add in our fruit, which we're gonna add sultanas. First, then we'll add the currants and our glacé cherries, which we'll chop up as we add them in because we don't want them to be too big and chunky in there. And finally, we need to add a pinch of mixed spice, because the mixed spice will bring out the flavors of all the fruit in the cake, and especially really nice in crumbly cake. And we'll mix this all down. With your hands, just stir it up like this, mix it all there, and that's what we're looking for. This consistency, everything's mixed in there. Make sure that your fruit is mixed evenly throughout, as we want everything to be uh, equally dispersed within the cake. So we'll have that there for the moment. So the next thing we need to do is in a clean bowl is 150 milliliters of milk and crack in two eggs. Two eggs there. And beat the eggs with the milk. It's all very liquidy, very creamy. And put that to that to the side one moment because we need to add the sugar to our dish first. So we'll put sugar in there to our mixture. Stir it all up once more. Again, a dent in the middle and add in the eggs and the milk in the middle. There we go. And then and we're gonna mix this up. It's gonna be a uh, really, really creamy consistency once it's all mixed. Because at the moment it's all dry and crumbly, but because we've added the milk and the eggs, what, what we're looking for is something really creamy. And the point that we did all that rubbing together is because that will give us a crumbly consistency when, when it's actually cooked. So we'll get a golden crusty top and inside it's gonna be really fluffy, really crumbly, that when we cut into it, all the pieces are gonna just look fantastic. And that is gonna go straight into our cake dish, which I have a spring bottom cake dish. That way this can come up later. I've lined it with greaseproof paper and we're gonna pour this inside. So let's pour this straight in there. And then push it down to the bottom so that it's all evenly spread out. And this will go straight into the oven. At 180 degrees for about 45 minutes to an hour. We'll check it. If you have a fan oven, it might be a bit less than an hour. So it really, cakes depend on the oven because I've cooked it in different ovens. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it takes less time and we don't want it to burn. So we'll check it occasionally and we'll stick a knife in it. If the knife comes out clean, we know it's done. So that's it for now. So now that the Empire Cake's in the oven, it's time for cake number two, because you can never have enough cake in life, come on. So let's move on to something a bit more chocolatey now. We're gonna start 
with the butter. We're gonna add the butter into our bowl in little chunks. We need to cream this with our sugar until it's really all blended together, nice creamy texture. So let's add the sugar in there. There we go. And with an electric whisk, you can just start blending this in there. And so you get a really creamy consistency. And there it's all nice and creamy. Now if you see that you get a lot of cake mixture in there, so with a knife, you can just pick it out, pour it back into your bowl. Because you want to use it all. We need as much cake mixture as we can get. Here. We need to add our eggs to the, to the mixture. But we don't want to add the whole part of the egg, we just want the egg yolk for the moment. We need the egg white separately. So we're going to separate it in there. And to do that, we're going to break the egg into our separate dish. So to do that, if you break it in half and carefully separate one part and then pour the egg into your hand, if you cup your hand slightly, all the egg white will fall out and the egg yolk will remain in your hand. That way you don't, you make sure that it doesn't break and you don't mix the egg yolk with the egg white because we need to cream this and we need to make a meringue and a meringue won't peak if it has egg yolk in it. That's why we need to separate it. So four eggs, and we'll just do that. Same, same tactic. If for any reason you get any eggshell in your mixture, you can use the other half of the eggshell to pick it out because that's the easiest way to get any eggshell out of your mixture. and just pass it from hand to hand. So for the moment, we'll put this to the side because we don't need the egg whites just yet. So we need to blend the egg yolk and the butter and the sugar all together so we get a really, really creamy mixture down here. So yes, that, look at that, that's, that's creamy, that's what we want. This is looking nice. And we need to sieve in our flour now. So carefully, because this otherwise will go everywhere and we don't want it to go everywhere. Pour it in. And just do bits, bits at a time. Okay, and with a spoon, we'll just flip this over first. Then we can use our electric whisk works more to mix everything together. And if you find it easy, you can turn the bowl rather than turn the whisk. Leave the whisk in one place and just turn the bowl. That way there's less flour flying around. Okay, so that's there. Leave that there for the moment and we'll get our egg whites because we need to now turn this into a meringue. Whisk the egg whites down and you need to whisk this until they peak. When the peaks stand on their own, that's when you know you have to stop. Okay, that is what we're looking for. These will peak up and stay there. That is a meringue. So what we're gonna do with this now, add this to our mixture, but we don't want to lose the air that's in the meringue. So we're going to fold this. So we're gonna move this to the side. We'll add half first. There. And I'll put this there. And we will fold this over. and we'll add the rest, and we'll do the same. We'll just continue folding until all the egg white is mixed in and everything gets really soft, really creamy, but we don't want to lose any of the air that's in there. So now we need to put this into our cake dish, which I am going to use a bunt tin like this with the hole in the middle. So once we've got the consistency that we want and everything is mixed up nicely, I know what you think, I haven't added the chocolate uh, powder yet, that's because I'm gonna make this a marble chocolate cake. So I'm gonna have half plain, and then I'm gonna add chocolate powder afterwards and make half a chocolate. So that when it all starts to cook, everything will mix each other. When you cut into it, you've got bits of chocolate, bits of white, everything's in there nicely mixed. So first thing we should do is line our dish with some butter. 
That way the cake won't stick to the side and it will help it rise as well. On the sides. Pour this in there. Pour that in the other half. And then we'll add the chocolate powder. So add the chocolate powder. Start stirring this in so that you end up with chocolatey cake there. When that's ready and nice and creamy, we'll pour this into the other half. There we go, into the other half there. So you've got half chocolate, half plain. We'll just spread it all in, just lay it all out. And this is ready for the oven. So we'll put that straight into the oven now. Thank you.